Hey guys, welcome back to Sloop Tech and today we are going to be looking at the cool tech that you can give to your friends and families. Let's get started. So starting on this is the new Chromecast. Not only it's cheap, it's pretty awesome as a gift. So it does have some awesome features like stream up to 4K and also watch his real content. Yeah, it does require a 4K TV to take advantage of that feature, but it's 1.8 times faster than the old Chromecast. And it's not gonna break your bank, it's only $70. So the next thing on our list is the Echo. For those who don't know what Echo is, Echo is actually a voice assistant and it's like Siri and Google but it does control your home appliances, you know, smartphones and it has some awesome features like telling news and telling some awesome jokes yeah, and it's only $150 but if you can't afford this one, you can also get the younger cousin of the Echo which is the Echo Dot yeah, it does move some features like the big it builds speaker, but you can have it, it's worth it. So the next thing on our list is the PS4 Pro. So this is actually hands down the powerful game console of this year. So yeah, it is pretty big compared to the original PS4, but it's worth it guys. And also it's actually $400, but if you don't have the money to buy the PS4 Pro, don't worry, you can buy his younger cousin, which is the PS4 Slim. Yeah, you just lose some power and also you just lose some space because it's pretty small compared to the original PS4 and also PS4 Pro. But it's awesome. So if you're not the PS4 kind of guy, you can also get the Xbox One S, which is pretty impressive to have for the price. It's actually $230, but for the price, you are getting a lot of features like the USB Blu-ray player. Yeah, I know Blu-ray players cost more than $230, but this is the cheapest USB Blu-ray player you can get right now. So the next thing is actually my favorite things of this year, which is virtual reality. So the best headset for virtual reality is actually HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and the PSVR. Comparatively, the PSVR is actually the cheapest. Yeah, it does require the PS4 or the PS4 Pro, but it's cheap. And the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive does require a powerful PC. And the HTC Vive does need a decent sized room to grab the full motion control feature. If you don't have a lot of money to spend on virtual reality, you can also check out the Daydream and the Gear VR. Yes, the Gear VR does require a compatible Samsung device and also Daydream does require the Pixel XL. But these two are actually the best budget virtual reality headset. And that wraps up our video. So if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, yeah, thumbs down. But I'm not going to recommend you do this. But I kind of recommend you do this because that helps us a lot. And also if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. And guys, if you smash 20 likes on this video, we are going to be doing a budget version of this video. Peace out.